Thousands of people die each year waiting for organ transplantation. So scientists are trying to come up with ways to make organs in the lab to reduce these preventable deaths. In recent years, some researchers have been adding human stem cells to animal embryos to see if they may eventually make human organs for transplantation. These are known as chimeras. Let's see how this works. Normally, an egg is released out of the ovary and enters the fallopian tube where it meets the sperm. 12 to 24 hours later after ovulation, the egg is fertilized and a one cell embryo is produced. At 30 hours, the one cell has cloned itself into two cells. This continues down the fallopian tube until it enters the uterus at day four. At this point, the clump of cells are made up of pluripotent stem cells which means they can potentially become any one of the 200 cell types in the mature human body. At day five, the cells make their first differentiation into a group shown in black, which become placenta cells and cells shown in green that become the embryo. By week three, the embryo cells are starting to differentiate to make all the different organs within the body. Now, this takes us to the study by Tan and colleagues published in the journal Cell. Here, they used macaque monkeys. They extracted egg cells from the female ovaries and added sperm cells from the males. And in vitro, they produced monkey blastocysts. From here, they then used human extended pluripotent stem cells, which they reprogrammed backwards from skin cells into a stem cell-like state. Here they added 25 of these stem cells into the blastocyst of the monkeys and then allowed it to culture for 20 days. After 20 days, they found that 7% of the embryo could be traced back to the human stem cell line. The findings of this study will hopefully shed light into the pathways involved of the cell communication in the early stages of embryogenesis and hopefully enhance this process so maybe one day we can produce viable organs for transplantation.